Heading up to Vista now, where county leaders held a town hall event with the Vista Unified School District. The group speaking of the dangers of human trafficking and what to look out for. Our Jamie Chambers joins us live from the North County with those details tonight. Jamie. Good evening, Susan. The human trafficking has pierced really every section of San Diego County. That's according to the district attorney's office. And here in Vista at the Unified School District, they're really doing their very best to push back. For roughly 90% of high schools in San Diego County, human trafficking has occurred. That's according to the district attorney's office. And these days, the trafficker is not a stranger, but a trusted friend most likely a new boyfriend a few years older than the unsuspecting victim. He was buying me things, he was taking me out on dates, and when I look at who my friend group was, they thought it was great. Sex trafficking victim Keelan Washington spoke to the Vista Unified School District meeting, telling her story and says as a 14-year-old girl, she thought she was having a wonderful relationship for four months until she was forced to have sex with strangers for money, and when she refused, her once loving boyfriend turned into a monster. My trafficker at this time was 19 years old. He was 6'3", 250 pounds, and continued to beat me until I lost him, until I lost consciousness. It would take a year and several escape attempts for Keelan to break free from her captor. Now she's laying out the signs and telltales of someone being sex trafficked hoping to protect the students across San Diego County. It is them having multiple cell phones, cash on them. We're seeing victims that are coming in, even in high school, they're being abused. And so they're coming into their classrooms with bruises on them. And then they're making up these lies like, oh, I just walked into the locker. Oh, I just tripped. And if we're not careful, we tend to miss the signs of what's actually happening. The threat is real. We're very serious about this threat. We're committed to uh, supporting our kids and counteracting the impacts of, of uh, trafficking. Again, some of those telltales are wads of cash. Kids don't normally carry wads of cash just because of cell phones and being able to pay with credit cards. Also, two cell phones is a big deal. Uh, bruises and the changes in clothing also being isolated from family members, all telltales of being sex trafficked. That's the very latest from Vista. Jamie Chambers, Fox 5 News.